goblins and ghouls guess what i'm excited um excuse me i've like been like really ill for the last couple of days and i've managed to like crack my tooth um somehow so everything's been a bit horrible for me as if you know me you know that i'm really like literally petrified of the dentist and earlier on well it was last about this time last year i had to go to the dentist for the first time in a lot of years which i'm not really going to disclose um but if you know me you know how many years that was and i had to go to the dentist and i was actually quite lucky because they just found one hole in my wisdom tooth i've never had a filling in my life because i've never been a dentist to like be diagnosed with needing fillings well i have been a dentist but not as an adult that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> I had to have my wisdom tooth out earlier this year. It was a really traumatic experience for me. Like I had to go to a special clinic and I had to have gas and air and I was nearly going to be like um, put to sleep for it. And, and then on that morning, my gran, my gran passed away and um, that was really horrible. So I just feel like I'm going to have to relive the whole thing all over again. Um, well, I've made an appointment anyway before anyone shouts and I'm going next Friday because um, there's like a big like sort of crack, crack, like at the one right at the back again in my wisdom tooth so I'm hoping they're just going to take it out to be honest because I'm sick of having these problems and I feel like these problems have only come since I actually went to the dentist I was my teeth were fine I didn't have any pain or holes or anything like that but oh well you start um, delving into these things and then look what happens anyway it's an exciting day let's forget about all that i just wanted to tell you about it it's an exciting day we are on gemma ween um day number 17 and the sale is on in home sense so if you're watching this now try and get to your local tk max or home sense because there is still stuff left i bought stuff today and it's amazing it's amazing i'm so exciting because I, I didn't think i was going to get anything because i hadn't been very well and i heard that the sale was on i couldn't get there so anyway i went today um even though i don't feel very well i've got this thing in my tooth but i still went and i picked up some really great things but i just came back really quickly so if i don't look right that's why so what should we start with right we'll start with the smaller items i got two of these they're wrapped up in tissue paper they were reduced to three pounds um and i think they're usually they're not usually that dear really they're about four pounds so there's a bit of a saving there these are really cute and i would not seen these before while shopping so i got two of them i got one for a family member which i thought would um like this cup because she likes big cups and it is quite a, um a big cup and it's really cute if i'd seen this earlier on i would have paid full price for this because um i'd never seen it and inside it's orange and it's just like a really fun cup i've got like tons of halloween cups now um i should probably just throw away all my other regular mugs because Halloween cup because Halloween mugs are where it is <laughs> so that's him so he's cute I got two of those and um, one for a family member the next thing I was like oh my gosh now this was 12 99 it was reduced to six pounds ah uh, how cute is it I just don't know where I'm going to put these things. I feel like I'm going to need to do a Halloween like clear out because I did promise I wasn't going to buy any more things and I did accidentally buy some things on the internet and then I did accidentally buy these. But look how cute that is. Look in there. There's two little mices with witches hats on. Um, they're obviously witches, witch mice with a cauldron. Uh, there is actually a potion going on in that cauldron if you can just see it there. They are so cute. I just couldn't... I had not seen this until recently on one of the Halloween pages on Facebook. One of you guys um, posted it up. And I was like, oh my god, I really want that. But I've said I'm not going to buy anything else. But I haven't bought a big pumpkin this year. And I've been seeing all these big pumpkins, mainly, mainly on like American sites. And then that annoys me because I didn't get to buy anything in America. And they have like the best stuff. <sighs> But then I can find equally as good stuff here. And um, when it's reduced, now this is supposed to light up, but it doesn't. So I don't know whether it needs batteries. Yeah, it needs batteries. Hang, hold your horses one second. I'm literally actually organised for once. I have some batteries. Ugh. 
quite heavy this thing um i just love getting things reduced because i would have bought this full price you can hear that noise it's just my phone ringing i think it's working yay it's shining it's it's changing color can you see aren't we dropping it so it does light up it smells a bit weird it smells really weird i don't know where they've been keeping that let's just flip our lights off oh. and then you can see it's quite a bright light and it does change color there just don't blind myself putting that ring light back on but how cute are they honest to god i'm absolutely in love with this pumpkin and uh, all of a sudden i've got my excitement for halloween back it's like why weren't these things why didn't i find these things in the first place but i'm really happy to get them half price and then maybe that's what's making my heart um beat that little bit faster because they were all half price and i feel like i've got mad bargains um <laughs> I feel like I haven't wasted my money because all of this came to like super cheap. So I did say this was £6 for this massive pumpkin. It is quite heavy. I'm just wondering where it's going to go. Um, oh, but they're so sweet. Look at them again one more time before they go. I need to find names for them too. Ugh. And then my next thing that I bought... <laughs> was six pounds again and that is a big i always like to get the big items big hardcore halloween items in the sale because this was 12.99 and actually it wasn't that bad of a price really for what it is it's a big candle holder i probably won't be burning a candle on it because it would totally ruin it um they've got all these stupid stickers all over them to tell us it was in the clearance i hate TK Maxx, the way they stick stickers all over everything. So this was twelve ninety nine, and it was reduced to six, same as the other thing. So I'll just show you their happy, lovely faces. And I just this was the first thing I saw that I picked up, and then I thought, do you need this as well as the other thing? Because you really want them. But do you know what? I <laughs> I couldn't put it back. I just don't feel like. I feel like the joy of Halloween this year has not been in my Gemoween videos and I feel it's because there's been no pumpkins. There's been no pumpkins being bought because I just can't even think of anything with a pumpkin. Well, I can. I did find there was that pumpkin head man and pointing over there because he's over there and there was a skeleton man that's holding a pumpkin and then I bought little... I did buy some pumpkin face but nothing like with happy, happy faced, smiley, manic pumpkins like them. Like, and it's just the orange. I think it's the orange that makes me love a Halloween. The orange and the black. And I could just go on for hours about this one piece. But I'm not going to. Because <laughs> this is Gemoween. We don't talk about things for hours here. I feel like I'm rushing though. I need to slow down. I think it's because I'm not very well. I'm like sweating. And this is the last thing. And it is huge. And I can't believe I bought it. But I did. I'm going to blame my illness. Take a deep breath, guys, because um, I need like you to give me some energy to pick this thing up because it's heavy. <laughs> um, hello, I'm just a ghost with the most. OMG. And that was the other thing. Do you know what? When I was thinking about my Halloween-ness was like dissolving this year. And I don't think I, I like, I never buy ghosts. And then look, he just came into my life. And how cute is he? And how cute, like the whole thing, it just makes me feel so happy. Like, look at it. <laughs> I don't, I'd like to put this on the doorstep on Halloween, um, or from Halloween Eve, really. But I've just got this feeling that somebody would nick it round here, or steal it, in other words. Um, but I would love to put it outside. It's absolutely awesome. It's just, oh my God, it lights up. I didn't even know. <laughs> it's got a battery thing on the bottom. OMG, have I got enough batteries? I'm not organized this time, so I need to find some other batteries. So let's talk about him first. So he's a ghost and he's huge. I can't even get him in shot. That's how big he is. 
um he just sits on my knee like that like so he is humongous so he's this big ghost at the bottom and he's holding three jack-o-lanterns that go up in size so we have got a surprise face jack-o-lantern my favorite and then we have that jack-o-lantern and then we have a really happy one on the top and he's got a little halloween hat on the whole thing is just awesome i didn't know it it was a light up thing or whatever it is that it does price wise it was 15 pounds <laughs> Um, which you might think is expensive but it was £30 so it was half price and it is like the most cutest cutest thing ever and I'll have to keep it out all year round because it's too big to put away anywhere so that's my excuse um, but I really love this piece I couldn't have left it there and he's, again he's got big clearance stickers all over him that need to come off um, he is awesome I did find a little bit that chipped off yeah there on that pumpkin can you see it's just a little tiny bit there so I didn't know whether I could get like a sharpie or something and colour it in I know over at the Haunted Bat she's always doing things like that and she's always redesigning her Halloween things I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that um, but I'd like to sort of fix him a little bit but that's the only like sort of imperfection on this so let me see if I can find some batteries so Hold your horses again. So, um, there he is glowing. So he sort of glow. The ghost part doesn't glow at all. So the lights are coming from inside the pumpkins. And look how cool they look. Um, and look how... Oh, I think that's going to look so awesome on Halloween. How cool is that? You don't even have to have your own carved pumpkins. So I think the lights are just like sort of string lights that go around the inside of those pumpkins. And like I said, I didn't even know they did that when I bought it. So it's an added um, bonus. I don't think I picked it up. It was so heavy I wouldn't have looked on the bottom and I just loved it. So that was £15. The two items... He was six pounds. This one was six pounds. And then the mugs were three pounds each. So I feel like I got a, like a massive bargain. So let me know what you got in the Home Sense slash TK Max sale. Um, I'd be really interested to know what, what you picked up. Um, we know it's like really like depressing if you bought these things full price. And you know what, we've got two weeks up till Halloween and it's like, it is a bit sad that they reduced everything to get rid of everything. We're not going to see Halloween things in the shops and um, we've still got a whole two weeks to go before the big day. Um, oh well, that's just the way it is here over in the UK. They can't wait. They don't really go on about Halloween that much. It is a lot more of a bigger thing now commercially than what it used to be. But then, I don't know, I know some people are moaning, sort of saying, um, you know, Halloween has sort of got more traditional. Um, Halloween's a little bit more traditional here in the UK. I mean, you did your trick-or-treating, you dressed up, but you mainly got dressed up in a bin bag. Um, you, you, um, you did bobbin apples, you made toffee apples, um, all of the dunking apples. What's it called? Dunkin' Apples. It's not called that, is it? I can't remember what it's called. Bobbin' Apples, that's what I mean. You did all those games when you were children. You did do trick-or-treating, but you never had all this millions of stuff and things in the shop and shops and things. So, let me know in the comment section down below which is your favourite Halloween item that I bought from this um, sale in TK Maxx. And don't forget that we've got a collaboration going on. If you haven't already, check out yesterday's video and you can leave me a comment or send me a video telling me about your favourite Halloween song, which we're going to put on a playlist. Um, and that's it. So take care. Thanks for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another suitably spooky video. Bye-bye. <laughs>